programming in prolog includes uh, has two components it has facts and it has rules let's take a look at the facts first um, for example this fact here says that amman is a city in the country of jordan then this is another fact and this fact says that the traveler visited the city of amman okay now the other component that we can include in prolog is are uh, called rules right and rules uh, can be used to infer some logic it they can be used to come to some conclusion uh, based on the facts right so we can use rules for that purpose for example we've created a rule here called visited country so what we want to ask is this rule is telling us that that a traveler visited a country x if the traveler visited the city y and y is a city in the country x right so so our rule here is that the traveler visited the country x if according to our facts the traveler visited the city y and y is a city in country x let's try and understand a few terminologies this fact completely can be called a clause this is another clause and this rule here completely can be also called a clause meaning that facts are also clauses rules are also clauses okay so let me explain a few more terms let's take a look at this clause and this clause has two arguments it has two arguments it has two arguments and this part here is called the predicate this is called the predicate and now let's take a look at this clause which has this predicate and this clause can be thought of as having this part is called the head and this part is called the body of the clause okay as you can see in this case in this case we don't have a body as such we only have the head of the clause right so in this case the clause is made up of two parts there is the head of the clause and the body of the clause in this case the head is, uh, the clause is made up of the head only it does not have a body part okay now let's take a look at this past paper question which says that these are all the clauses these are all the clauses in our knowledge base right so these are all the facts and in our knowledge base and he's also explained these clauses right clause number one right says that master bedroom is a room clause number six says that bed is an item of furniture and then clause number 11 this says that bed is located in the master bedroom okay so bed is located in the master bedroom okay part a says corridor is a room that contains a table and a lamp okay so corridor is a room that contains the following items a table and a lamp write additional clauses to represent this information meaning he wants us to add this information in our knowledge base we want to add this information in our knowledge base so so let's take a look at what we can do corridor is a room okay we can see that you know this is the clause that we actually need to uh, take into consideration and we can say what we can say room bracket corridor remember when you're writing facts everything needs to be in um, lowercase right don't make that mistake everything the argument needs to start with lowercase it cannot be capital C it has to be small c 
so we have included one fact as a clause in our knowledge base that room is a corridor sorry i should be saying that corridor is a room okay so we've included one fact that corridor is a room the next thing that we need to include in our knowledge base is that this room has a table and a lamp okay if we take a look at the clauses that we have all clauses that are related to furniture items begin begin with the predicate furniture so we are going to use this predicate furniture we're going to say furniture right and one of the furniture was what a table right so we've included that and the other item was what a lamp so we've included both furniture items in our knowledge base but now we need to add that where are these located right so where is the table located for example and where is the lamp located they are both located in this room called the corridor so we want to use this predicate located right so we're going to use located and we are going to say corridor right no 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 we we have to mention the item first so we should not be saying corridor first if we take a look at this predicate first comes the furniture item right first comes the bed right so we should first say what we should say table here and then we should mention the room and the room is what corridor and then we can use the same predicate to include the lamp which is going to be also in the room corridor and we should put full stops here okay don't forget to put put full stops and make sure that everything that you've entered starts with a lower case okay so they should these should all be in lower case next this question says that using the variable what item okay how do we know this is a variable well one he has said that this is a variable but second it begins with a capital letter okay upper case so with upper case you know just like we see this argument here this is in upper case meaning this is a variable if something starts with an upper case letter in the argument then this is a variable okay so this is not a variable so this is not a variable right this is not a variable okay because it's starting with lower case but this is starting with upper case so it's a variable so he's saying that use the variable what item uh and you know we are going to ask this question from uh, you know the interface so re remember this this is how it is right so our knowledge base has all the facts and the rules written here right facts and rules and this is our interface this is where we can ask questions from prolog okay so this goal we are going to write here we are going to ask this query we are going to ask this query or this question or this uh, this goal you know can be asked here right in the interface so we are asking that where is what are the different items that are located in the master bedroom because we have not specified uh the name of an item here we can actually we could actually have asked something like this you know we could have asked located lamp in master bedroom right we could have asked this question from prolog okay in this case we are using lamp which is not a variable right so and we are also using master bedroom which is not a variable so we we we've given the exact question here is the lamp located in the master bedroom right so this is the question that we are going to ask here based on this question prolog is going to look in the knowledge base and see if this is true or not so if we were to go back to our clauses 
in the clauses when we take a look at the located predicate right these two and these four we can see that the lamp is located in corridor in the corridor room it is not located in the master bedroom so in this case in this case when we ask this question prolog is going to return a value this is the result that prolog is going to return it's going to say that this is false okay so in this case we were asking a specific question is lamp located in the master bedroom but here what we are trying to ask is what items what or we are asking what are all the items located in the master bedroom right because we are using a variable here we are asking tell us all the items that are listed in th that are located in the master bedroom okay so that's the sense behind a variable and what prolog is going to do is it's going to go through um, our knowledge base and it's going to take a look at all the look uh, uh, it's going to take a look at master bedroom and it's going to find out the different items that are present in master bedroom and assign those as values to what item for example prolog is going to come and look here uh, in this clause it will see that the bed is located in the master bedroom it will also see that in the master bedroom the computer is also located so our variable what item will get two values what item will have a uh, bed comma uh, computer right so this I these are the values that prolog are pr prolog is going to return and it's going to assign these values to this variable what item okay and that is exactly what he's showing here right what item is going to have these two values right bed and computer okay now he's given us a different goal he's saying write the result returned by the following goal bed comma which room meaning this time the question that we are asking from prolog is to look into our knowledge base and tell us that the furniture item bed is located in which rooms okay so which rooms have the bed inside of them okay that's the basic question which is being asked so once again we are going to go and check our knowledge base and if we take a look here the bed is in the spare bedroom as well as the bed is in the master bedroom so in this case our answer is going to be master bedroom comma spare bedroom meaning prolog will go through our knowledge base and first it will assign this variable this value master bedroom and then prolog will assign this variable this value spare bedroom so these will be shown as output in this part he says that we need to include this information that the nursery is next to the master bedroom in our knowledge base so we need to include this information in our knowledge base right and he has he has shown the two clauses these two clauses need to be added to our knowledge base to show this information right so what he's asking is why are both the clauses necessary why can't we just do with this single clause which says next to nursery comma master bedroom why do we have to write it the other way around also why do we have to write it you know with the arguments 
uh, in the other order right so here it says nursery first and master bedroom second and here it says master bedroom first and nursery second why are both of these clauses necessary to understand this just imagine if I was to write a query right or a goal right which would be something like this next to right and I was to say X here and write master bedroom here okay so when I ask this question when I ask this question to prolog prolog would go to the knowledge base and it would take a look at this predicate next to right and then it will see that this is a variable so the value for this needs to be found out because this is a variable however this value is known so prolog is going to look at the second argument and see if this is master bedroom which it is right and prolog is going to take the first argument and it's going to assign that value to x in this case prolog is going to say that x equals uh, nursery when prolog goes through this clause it sees this predicate next to but the second argument is nursery we are looking for master bedroom as the second argument so this does not match this so the answer that prolog will give us is that nursery is next to the master bedroom but it will not say that master bedroom is next to the nursery so it will not say that master bedroom is next to nursery but it will only say that nursery is next to master bedroom so what what we can write here is that clause number 21 let me pause and write the answer clause 21 says that nursery is next to master bedroom but it does not say that master bedroom is next to nursery therefore clause 22 needs to be included to show that this is a two-way relationship okay the next question says that we need to include the following information that the corridor is next to the main bathroom what are the additional clauses that we can add to our knowledge base for this fact right and instantly we know that we can we have to write these next two clauses right and what we've done is you know we have shown that this is a two-way relationship first we've said main bathroom corridor and then we've said corridor main bathroom so we've shown that this is a two-way relationship the only thing that we need to include now is that the main bathroom is basically a room that it is basically a room you should remember that the next two clause is used to identify the rooms that are next to each other right so main bathroom is a room that is next to the corridor room so the main bathroom is a room that is next to the corridor room and from our knowledge base we can see that the predicate room this predicate is used to show that you know office is a room or spare bedroom is a room or nursery is a room right so we are going to use the predicate room for this purpose so we have to include this clause that corrid uh, that main bathroom is a room okay next he says that you know B can be moved to A B can be moved into A if B is furniture A is a room and B is not located in A okay so we need to write this down as a rule okay so our clause can be moved can be moved to ha will have two arguments right b can be moved into a b comma a what is the first condition if b is a furniture right so 
we can write if here also right if b is a furniture right which means what furniture b right this was the predicate that we were using in our knowledge knowledge base right as you can see here right the desk is a furniture right so B has to be furniture, A has to be a room. So what we are going to say here is furniture B and room A, right? So we are done with this part and the final part is that B is not located in, B is not located in A. Okay, so B is not already in A means B is not located in A. If we take a look at the knowledge base, we have this predicate located which shows that something is located in a room. So this predicate is saying that a computer is located in the master bedroom. Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to use for the third condition right we are going to use the located predicate we are going to say located uh, B in A so this predicate is saying that B is located in A but we have to say B is not located in A so what we are going to do is write the word not here and put all of this inside a bracket so now what we are saying is that can be moved B to A if B is a furniture and A is a room and B is not located in A. So we have fulfilled this condition that was our answer. So just remember that writing rules is fairly straightforward. We can just uh, take a careful examination of our knowledge base and we can write down our rule okay one final thing just a reminder you know this whole thing is what it's a clause right and this part here is the uh, this included right this parenthesis included is the head of the clause and this part here is the body of the clause